Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here and welcome to today's video. Today it's another collab with my buddy Leanna Dalton and we decided we were going to continue with the monochromatic look and so for this month we're working with the color pink. So I wore a pink shirt. Uh, just I got out of the shower just a few minutes ago and my hair is going to dry while I apply this makeup look. But for today's look I thought that I would go into my Jaclyn Hill 2 palette haven't used this in a while but it's got some really pretty pinks in here that I want to use and so and then there's a like a shimmer that's got pink in it and so anyway we're just gonna see where this is gonna take us so I'm gonna do my eyes first today before I do anything else so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of um, eyeshadow primer and we're just gonna tap this in with my finger and so anyway, Leanna texted me last night and she said, I just realized that October is um, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And I was like, oh really? I hadn't thought about that. But I knew that, I just hadn't thought about it. And so anyway, it's pretty appropriate, I think, for us to use the color pink for this month's look. So... I've had friends of mine that have had breast cancer and have beat it and received their healing and wholeness wholeness restored to them and it's amazing. It's amazing. Okay. So we're just going to get going right on this and I will do rest of the products as we go but I wanted to start out with this eye look. And so, the, for the first shade, I'm going to go in, I'm going to use this kind of like stubby type of fluffy brush, and I'm going to go straight in with this hot pink color, it's called Tipsy Girl, right there, that hot pink one. And I'll do one eye on camera and the other eye off camera, and let me find me a mirror here. And I'm going to put on lashes and the whole bit today. I want to, let me use this little mirror here in this little compact. I want to do something bold and bright and pink and pretty. So when I think of pink, the first thing that comes to me, especially a bright pink like this, is Barbie. And I've got, I've got all kinds of pink eyeshadows from some of my favorite brands, from ColourPop, from Ace Butte, from Nomad Cosmetics, from Juvia's Place, this Jaclyn Hill palette. I've got all kind. I, the Glam Light just came out with a Barbie collection, and I'm interested in that. And then Her Cosmetics has a Barbie collection, and I've got some products from it. So, you say the word pink, I'm there. Uh, never used to think that pink or red eye looks would look good. You know, I thought it was like too far out there, it's too bold, too bright. And then I was on the Shop Miss A website one time and I was looking for a certain palette that they had and you know how they do they have like color choices you know like three or four palettes to choose from with color choices and the one I wanted really wasn't there and I thought well that formula looks so good let me just go ahead and try it and so the one that was available had a red in it and I tried it and I loved it and I thought wow those berry type reds and everything really make blue eyes pop and pinks do too so I'm just building this up just a little bit more just tapping it in and getting that pigment to show up I really need to play with this palette more than what I have so this was a good excuse really for me to pull it out I was really happy to do it okay so I may use that brush here 
again in a minute but that's bold right there that's really super bold okay let me go into I'm gonna use this flat brush here and I'm gonna go into this other shade right next to tipsy girl it's another form of a bright pink it's called lolly mama lolly mama and I just think it's beautiful it's stunning and I'm gonna go underneath the lash line And just I'm gonna take this all the way across not into the inner corner but all the way to the tear duct area and then I'm gonna connect it right there in the corner on the outer edge and do a little faux eyeliner flick from the outer edge of my lid and just do like an inverted wing kind of a thing and I'm just taking that color over about one third of the way okay I'm just gonna blend all that together what's left on the brush into what I've got in the crease okay and I'll do the other eye in a minute all right now I want to go in with this one shade here it's a really it's super light it's got a pink reflect in it though and I don't know if y'all can see that but it's like the really really light form of pink and it's a duochrome and it's beautiful I'm gonna put that right there on the lid with my finger I'm gonna build that up and carry it over I'm gonna fill in that whole entire space there that I left blank. This shade is amazing. And it's just perfect for a pink eye look. All right, now I'm gonna go back into that dark pink color called Lolly Mama, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna build it up just a little bit more here in this corner, just a little bit. And we're just gonna kind of expand this little outer V action here. Just like that okay I'm gonna keep it pretty simple today I think but anyway I'm gonna go off camera I'm gonna do my brows and put on my base makeup finish the other eye and I'll be back all right y'all I'm back the eye look is done and I will go over all the products in just a minute but right now I want to do a lip look with you guys and so I'm gonna go in with this gel lip liner crayon from wet n wild it's called never pedal down it's a really pretty pink pink of course because we're doing pink today so I want to line my lips with this and it's a really soft color and super creamy and super affordable too okay so that was easy all right now I want to go in with this um, pixie by Petra it's a lip glow in the sh uh, 
it's called the lip yeah lip glow in the shade uh, petal no ruby which is a really pretty pink it's a sheer tint it's a it's got some pigment in it but not too much more than a bomb but it's like a really light lipstick which is really pretty I really like this brand I need to get some more products from this brand Pixie by Pedra everything I've tried from them has just been really good so that's pretty all right and now I want to use this new lip lip gloss that was given to me by Janet it's from Clinique and it's in the shade rose water pop which is the stunning shade of pink it's got some like little gold reflex in it and i thought it would be pretty on top of all this i just want to try it out And just mix it all together by smooshing my lips which is really pretty okay so let's just spray all this down let me use this Tarte stay spray I really like this it's got a fine mister and you don't have to worry about it soaking your mascara <laughs> and causing any of your mascara to run but today my mascara is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. It's like a smudge proof water resistant type formula. I really like it. Uh, you need a waterproof makeup remover to get it off. So, but as long as I wear powder underneath my eyes, you know, it does not smudge or go anywhere. So that's really good. All right, today's uh, makeup is. The Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation. It's the luminous foundation. And then I used the Huda Beauty Marshmallow Concealer in the shade Marshmallow. And then I topped everything off with um, a little bit of setting powder out of my Alamar Cosmetics here. The banana one underneath the eyes. And then for the rest of the face, I used this Minerals Foundation. By Rejuva that I received in a goodie box which is the perfect shade for me I love this stuff oh my gosh so anyway whenever I'm feeling like my foundations I just want a little more coverage you know then I use that for brows today I went in with this pencil uh, from I believe it's wet and wild called chocolate it's a little bit dark for me but I just went in with a light hand and then I set those brows down with the Trace Loose Hello Brows Clear Brow Gel. Love this stuff. It's amazing. And let's see. For bronzer today, I went in with the Alamar Cosmetics. The middle shade here, it's called uh, Solterra. And for blush today, I had to find a pink blush since we're doing pink. And so I used this one from the Ofer Cosmetics palette. It's called Sitting Pretty, and the shade is Pink Satin. And then for the highlighter, I went in with the Ace Butte Highlighter Palette. <clears throat> and I went in with this, this white shade here. It's got pink reflect in it called Poppin. Here, let me swatch it for you so you can see it. It reminds me of the shade in the eyeshadow palette. There it is right there on my wrist. So I thought that would really look good and it was it had that pink in it. And then I went back in under the brow and in the inner corner with this shade called I'm In It from the palette. The one that I used on my lid and I just tied all that together. And let's see. Then in the waterline I used the white it's uh, from ColourPop. It's the cream gel eyeliner. The white one. 
to kind of give that doll-like effect and then I went in with a second coat of mascara on the bottom lashes and then the lashes today are the Ardell Demi Wispies so anyway that is the look for today I'm gonna wear it too I'm gonna wear it all day long I'm going out it's beautiful here in Savannah Tennessee clear skies sunny weather it's in the 70s it's an amazing day so I'm excited about getting out and about this afternoon my hair will be dry here in a little bit it's just about there right now but anyway I'm gonna say thanks to Leanna we've decided to do this every month I don't know what color we're gonna do next month but this month we chose pink for breast cancer awareness so anyway if any of you have ever experienced breast cancer and have overcome it you know let us know down in the comments that would be awesome and then also uh, if you have breast cancer and you need somebody to talk to you know just reach out to me you can send me a DM and I will be happy to pray for you and believe God for you we've we, we've seen we've seen miracles we've seen miracles we've seen peer, people uh, friends of mine that have actually been healed from breast cancer and have overcome it so it is it is possible there is hope and I just want to encourage you today okay thank you Leanna for another beautiful monochromatic look can't wait to see what we're going to do next month huh? so anyway it'll be November so anyway you'll have to let me know what colors you'd like to see down in the comments all right, I love y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to watch Leanna's video. I'll have her link down below. And welcome to all my new subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. Love you all. God bless you today. It's my prayer. We'll see you next time. Bye.